Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. So before we begin, I'm working on the, uh, yeah, that would be the right elevator. I'm uh, enjoying my favorite hangover cure, which is chocolate milk and fake crab. Don't ask me why, I don't even know why it's good, but just for some reason, when I'm hungover, crab with a K with some chocolate milk. Anyway, so here we are continuing to uh, bond the rear spar rib attachments to the skins. After having just gone through all that humble pie, it's time to get things back on track. So one of the things that I had a problem with the very first time that I did the elevator uh, riveting of the rear spar which caused this problem or, or started all of this mess is that the entry to the rear spar is very small. Vans want you to make a specialized uh, bucking bar for it. Well, I've made that which is fine. But I thought, oh, I can use this bucking bar that comes with my uh, rivet gun. Except that it's about an eighth of an inch too thick. So here you see me grinding it down into nothing and I just had a little bucket of water to cool it down because that steel gets hot so once I ground it down and took over an eighth of an inch off of the flange I was able to use it to buck the uh, elevators uh, single skin the way it was supposed to be done Uh, yeah, so I talked about uh, having to do the taping for the trailing edge and the foam ribs. So this is a continuation of that. I had pre-primed some of the skins uh, without thinking, of course. So here I have masked the areas for scuffing that need to be cleaned. Uh, they are masked. I then acetoned any primer off. Took a while, but it worked and then scuff and then clean with uh, a rubbing alcohol. Okay, so like before, just uh, simply riveting on the rear spar to one of the skins. It's pretty simple. I just effed it up last time.
trying to think if there's anything I need to say about this process. I did have to be extra careful considering I'm working with one half of a uh, uh, pre-riveted uh, rib set and then the other half of a pre-riveted skin set. Thankfully this is the correct skin but the bad ribs so the skin kept it in place. Amazing, I'm going to let this trail out and I'll see you in the next one.